Hello, and welcome to the final Tiny Bananas in the Boudoir. Um, as unintentionally happened, we had a month-long break, which is fine, which is good. Who needs February? No one. It's short. A lot has happened. Uh, part of the reason why I forgot about February um, is that um, I was working a lot. Um, so Ghost of Seattle Pass, which I know, I'm pretty sure I've talked about it in past videos, um, it's at the printer. So for the past several weeks, I was working through the weekends um, to get Ghost of Seattle Pass ready, um, to like check over it, to fact check, to get the best photos that we could where we needed higher resolution ones. Um, and it's finally going to be real. We actually got these quickie copies um, just to send out to reviewers, um, which is really late. But what can you do when you don't know what exactly is going to go in there? Um, and it, I, was, I held it in my hand, and it was bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it's just really exciting, especially because, um, it's moving to the point now where my work is done and the work is moving on to the designers, which they've been working the whole time and I've been collaborating with them, but like they're working on these maps that are going to fold into the jacket, like the jacket's going to work as a pocket to hold them in. And they're going to have all these places that people pinned on ma the map of Seattle and a couple blurbs that I helped like pick out and edit, um, just like particularly nice stories where people like pin this place and said like why it was special um and that's the kind of thing where I sort of know what's going on and I'm helping um but it's getting to this magical stage where I've worked a lot on it I'm hearing about it all the time and the stuff that's happening now is what's going to surprise me um like when the books finally come in the stuff that happens now about like the texture of the paper and the coloring like, that stuff is going to make it magical when I hold it in, like, this thing that is a little bit different and a little bit more than what I expected. Um, so it's exciting. It's like this magical time and also over a year's worth of work coming to fruition. Um, another thing that happened uh, is that the boudoir, um, meaning me, Dandy, Jack, and Jameson, went to Vancouver, B.C., um, Jack usually works through the weekend, but we had the, this random time when Jack had already taken a weekend off or something that ended up not happening. And Jack and Dandy both have cars right now, um, which is great. And we thought, like, hey, like, let's go to Vancouver. Van Dandy's godmother has uh, an apartment that she's fixing up to rent, but is not rented yet. And so we had a free place to stay. We ate. We had Dutch pancakes, which were underwhelming to me because I mixed up hash and scramble and got something that was like not at all what I wanted, like totally my fault, but I was hangry and I'm still bitter about it. Um, we also went to Granville Island, which is like a giant Pike Place market. It was eerie to see it on such a large scale. Both of you probably know this. Um, Gwendolyn, we went to Steveson to get the apartment key, which I know is, uh, you are very familiar with because it's involved with Once Upon a Time. Um, and then we went to these wonderful, uh, like, this wonderful Indian food. We, like, ate our way through all these places. We went to a great used bookstore. Um, yeah, it was great. It was a good time. It was a good bonding moment. Just lots of, like, car tripping and listening to music. Um, so that was a good memory for this next point. The boudoir is ending. Um, we knew the boudoir was going to end. Um, we weren't sure exactly when. We were new, maybe May, June-ish. Um, for a while it was looking more like June, then it was looking more like May. And now it's April. Now it's like at the end of this month. Um, so, um, we are kind of waiting while Jack and Dandy, um, were waiting to hear back from their grad schools, um, whether we could move someplace else altogether. And Jack, Dandy got accepted to actually two places in really quick succession. And so we already knew she was going to leave. And then Jack got accepted to someplace. I'll let you learn of things from their Facebook feeds. But they're very good schools. And they've been personal, like, Uta bombs from professors they like. So they're great. Anyways, um, so now Dandy and Jack are definitely leaving. Um, maybe, like, as early as midway through the summer. Um, maybe as late as the fall, but, um, yeah, we were wondering about living together, but now it's looking like we're going to splinter into a couple of houses, 
I'm going to live in a house in North Beacon Hill with some people who I went to high school with. Um, and it's really cool because uh, I was like on a trivia team with them in high school and they're part of this big extended group of friends that was all years above me but we're all really smart and nice and cool um and like they've already like I've already gone to trivia like pub trivia with them all now and we're gonna keep doing that so there's already like a built-in community and bonding activity um which is exciting and then um Jameson is gonna live with Jack or Dandy for a while until um the one who was in my room before Ashleen um, moves in once Dandy or Jack leave. Um, and then whoever doesn't live with Jameson, they're still finding prospects, but it's like, it's coming together. It's looking more solid, like it's gonna happen. Uh, so yeah, we've been like starting to try and do very consciously roommate-y things. Um, watching movies together, going to breakfast together, going on that trip. Um, but there's a lot more, um, it's just a lot to process. Um, big changes. So I, besides like enjoying the first weekend not working or traveling in a while, I'm going to be spending the weekend packing. Um, anyways, I miss y'all. I hope you're good. Um, Gwendolyn, see you in a couple weeks. Bye.